Some of you may have seen this recently. Uh, some of you may, may believe that this is a neck crank and not a choke. It can be both, but in this case, we're just gonna do the choke. So for one, my arm is deep across the neck. And to start off with, I've got my thigh. Why my thigh? Because for one, being here and here is not enough. I need to close this gap down. Carl, turn and get your elbow and shoulder down. I can't allow that to happen whatsoever. So if I can get my thigh in the way, one, it lifts his head up, and if I don't lift it up enough, I'll help myself get it even deeper. Nice and tight and underneath, on my toes. It's gonna reach through my back pocket and trap this thing over and across. Once that's here, just like with the side choke, also known as katagata me, I like to shove and tuck if I can. Either way, I'm looping this thing through and making it tighter. I'm not being here and pulling it up, I loop because I want to be as tight on the side of Carl's neck and I want to bring everything up and pinch together as much as possible. So how do I do that? Not by trying to pull and reef, by looping and getting it tight. Now here's where our finish comes. I'm going to be on my toes and heels. I'm going to pull his head and everything up. I'm just gonna hang tight. I'm trying to make a beeline, a point between him and his chest and sternum right here and my body weight. And what I'm doing is I'm collapsing his diaphragm. So the first breath he has will come out a little bit. He'll try to take another one in, but nothing happens. And now he tries to push out nothing. It's kind of, it's a, more akin to drowning than being blood choked in any way. It's a wind choke. And it, yeah, drowning. Best way I can describe it. Lock it here, rotate it up. 